All right, y'all. I am here in some invitational, and let me. My YouTube keeps popping up over my tutorials, um, and uh, this is the uh, meet we set up from scratch earlier in the day um, in another tutorial. And so there's no entries, no athletes, no teams. As you can see in here, all there is is the events that we set up by default. We have a very convenient way, uh, especially if you're in your high school or you're doing some clubs that use mile split, to uh, and you don't have online registration. You just want to import the rosters. Of course, this isn't going to help you get people, the right people entered or put people in events. But if you just want to download the rosters, we can do that really, really easily. So we go over here to Teams, we click Import, and uh, over here we click uh, Download for Mile Split. Um, by the way, before I do that, let me just show you that the imp this import screen is going to be standard no matter how we really get to it. Um, it will come in with a better context if you come from it from here versus a place else. But if we click race tab at the top and click import, we really get to the same place. So we make sure rosters is selected here. So I download for miles on the side. And then what we need to do is um, we need to select our country. And on a future update, I'm going to make sure that I set it correct by default. But uh, we got United States and we got Florida here. And then we need to check the teams that are going to be coming to the meet, the ones that we want to import. We can make this a lot easier by filtering this list down. So we want to check Avon Park. We want to check Sebring. And we'll check Lake Placid. These are my uh, home county I grew up in. So we'll select all those three teams. We want to select the track and field or cross country roster and male or female. We'll stick with track and field. Click Next. It's downloading those. And so now, if we refresh this list here, we got our teams over here. We've got our athletes all imported. Very easy.